Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be doing a review of the Logic Tech pencil versus the Apple pencil. And if you see that cute little kitty right there in the background, that's actually um, the cat. Oh, I'm not in the recording. Uh... <laughs> that's actually the cat that I was talking about. Are you calling me a cat? Yep. That was actually the cat that I was talking about in the previous video that my mom had got. Without further ado, let's get started. Did you meet mom? Okay, so first off, let's talk about the price different. This is the Apple Pencil one because it's compatible with my iPad mini, fifth generation. This one is $100 and I believe the other one is like $120 or $150, somewhere in between that price point if I'm not mistaken. And the Logitech Pencil is $69. Now you could probably find this cheaper if you buy it used. So the next factor is how it was made and like how does it feel in the hand and how does it write. So this one, honestly, I've heard of a lot of people getting grippers to this, but it just, it feels all right to me so i don't really feel the need to have like a gripper it feels like a normal pencil in my opinion but other people say it feels very hard but pencils in general to me feel kind of hard to me this feels very comfortable and very natural the logitech crayon or logitech pencil on the other hand feels a little bit more awkward because it's more a little bit more rectangular of a shape i guess so it feels a little bit less natural less of how i would hold it although the crayon is probably easier to grip and more comfortable for kids who are working on their fine motor skills so it's better to have something a little bit more thick and with a little bit more you know oomph to it the next factor is how easy is it to roll or drop to me um this apple pencil is a lot more easy to like roll if i sit down on a table and like drop i've done it quite a few times and actually lost the um, you know pin cap to it which kind of sucks because you definitely don't want to break that part to me this is a lot more easier to roll than this because it has somewhat of a flat surface and it, it's not really easy to you know roll it might occasionally like you know flop or something because it does kind of have like a smooth matte kind of finish to it but it isn't half as bad as the apple pencil in my opinion well, another factor is where's the charger located for the apple pencil it is located right here and it also had an attachment that came with it which i'll see if i can find it and put pictures in where you can attach it and then charge it um with like apple charger um otherwise you could just plug it straight into your ipad and it will charge really quickly it feels like it just takes like 20 minutes max usually or 30 minutes you plug it right here and, and it'll be completely charged and honestly i really like how where this charger is located and how it is designed because it's just much more convenient to charge on your iPad because I have it anyhow attached to my iPad at all times. The Logitech Crayon has the charger located right here and it came with a charger and you just plug it in right here or I think it came with the charger I'm not sure I'll have to check but yeah you just plug it in at the top and then go. Some other features that are important to talk about is pressure sensitivity so that's really good if you want to have different looks of your handwriting and for and also good for people who are artists this um has a pressure sensitivity the logitech crayon does not have pressure sensitivity so if you're doing something much more complex like if you're doing artwork and getting paid from your ipad you're definitely going to want this over this but if you're just doing using it for basic notes or something and you don't really care that much about how your handwriting looks then maybe the logitech crayon will be better for you both are very very accurate in my opinion they look just like my um real handwriting so there's not a problem with precision for any of them this is the handwriting comparison with the apple pencil versus the logitech crayon i would say they're about equal in reflecting handwriting this one might be a little bit better because it does have that pressure sensitivity the next feature is replacement tips to replace this tip of the apple pencil is much more easy you just screw it off like this and you know buy a replacement tip and it's good to go see how easy it is like sometimes i occasionally accidentally actually screw it off a little bit so um, it's really easy to replace this is more complex and i think there's like special tools i never actually replaced this one um i think there's like some kind of special tool that you'll need to replace it which i don't have don't know how to do so i'll let you guys know how hard it is when i get there but for right now it seems like it's much more complex and harder to change than this and if you're wondering how this one works, it works via Bluetooth. Um, so you definitely need to have your Bluetooth turned on. So it will drain your Apple iPad battery just a little bit more. Whereas the Logitech Crayon uses a wireless frequency. Another thing about them is they both have palm rejection. So you can rest your 
hand on the iPad comfortably like you would with a pencil and you won't have any problems with it like scrolling up like with the previous iPads. Same thing with the app. Um, crayon, you could just write it out with your, your palm on the screen and it won't pick up your palm because it has palm rejection. So the final feature that you definitely want to consider when making your decision about which one to purchase is the power. This one powers on and off. You just press this button right here and it will turn green to indicate that it's on. See, that little thing came up. I don't know if you saw it. Okay, and then this, on the other hand, does not have a power off button. So there is more brain, I mean, not brain, battery drainage with this because you can't really stop it from being in use. But I will say that the battery life on this is really long. In my opinion, it might actually be longer than this, but I will have to see the actual specs to see if technically it is longer than this. My final verdict on the Apple Pencil versus the Logitech Crayon. I think the Logitech is great for younger kids younger kids or people who are just beginning to get into the world of writing on the iPad who don't necessarily need it for monetary purposes or if they're not planning on doing anything advanced with it or if they're just using it as a basic writing tool. Apple Pencil on the other hand is much better for artists, those interested in things like advanced people. Yeah, creative people, those interested in calligraphy and other things. And those who just like to draw and sketch yeah and those who like to draw and sketch it's also better for people who want to have a more customized experiences experience and have more accessories because as you guys can see i got well my mom actually got me this uh case and um it's much harder to fit this oh it does fit i didn't think it okay it fits but it's still much harder to fit this into it it's like originally designed for the apple pencil and many more accessories like the grippers it's easier to find for the apple pencil versus the logitech crayon even though they do have them it's just much more harder probably more expensive i'll have to check it out but in general if you want a more customized experience you're gonna have an easier time with the apple pencil than the logitech crayon so yeah that is my final thoughts i hope you all have a great one and i thank you guys for watching bye